This is N2LEN with another quick video clip uh, demonstrating Kenwood NXDN uh, that we just got up and running. Test Radio is a Kenwood Nex Edge NX800. Uh, of course, the bench test repeater is a Motorola MTR2000 uh, with an EA7GIB. Um, 2017 Shield on an STM32446 Nucleo 64. We're going to talk a little bit about the programming. Um, we're running Andy's Revision 3.4.11 dashboard. Haven't did the upgrade and the update for the API key, but we're listening to EA7KDO Mitch on NXDN. Um... You could see the user ID. Uh, right now the radio is just basically plugged into a little magnet mount uh, portable. But anyway, this video is going to show, and uh, the actual um, laptop that I'm using is a uh, an older uh, Windows 98 for programming. But basically this quick video will show you how to program the NX800. It's just a, a quick video. We'll show you a couple of the screens, but this software, the KPG-111D, uh, is actually uh, for a lot of the Kenwood radios. You'll see when the software opens up, you could actually see the uh, that it's showing that it's for a lot of them. One of the things that uh, I would suggest doing when you have the NX radio, whether it's the portable or the uh, mobile, is you want to make sure that you come in and you read the radio first. So you want to read data from the transceiver. That should be the very first thing that you should do. Uh, Goff a bit if anything happens in your programming. Let me just lower this uh, volume down a little bit. There we go. Uh, you want to just make sure that you read the radio, save the code plug uh, after you read the you, uh, after you read the radio. You want to click save as, and then what you want to do is you just want to save it as a file type um, data file. Do that first when you first uh, program the radio. Make sure you do a quick initial read, and like I was saying, God forbid if anything happens. Uh, you could always go back to that code plug and restore the radio back to the original way when you first received it, whether it's new or used. Of course, if it's a new radio, you're going to have a clean, factory, fresh, clean uh, code plug to always fall back on. Uh, anyway, after you do the read, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the actual file that I used um, last night to get it up and running. And uh, you're going to see basically how to set the radio up. So basically, after you do the initial read, you'll notice up here, it's showing uh, that it's an NX800 mobile K-band split, uh, which is 450 to, four, uh, to 520. What you want to do is initially, when I read this radio, it was saving the data as a 400 to 470 band split, which was incorrect. And for hours, I was programming the, the frequencies for ham bands under 450, the programming was working, uh, but it was just not, uh, the radio was not going into TX. So anyway, the first thing you want to do is you want to clear out whatever zones you have and start fresh. So you want to, right here we're selecting zone 1, you want to select it for conventional group. And you can come in and you could actually do your channel editing right here. I went down and I selected channel edit at the bottom. And you can see I have the input and output frequencies entered. Uh, basically, it's NXDN, the um, radio access number uh, for decode. Now, these are only the settings that are working for me on the NX800. Uh, RAN decode 1, uh, RAN encode 1. I have the, um, the channel name, which comes on the display, is N2LEN NXDN. Uh, transmit power is set for low and then the channel spacing for NXDN there are two selections here 
for the Kenwood mobiles and portables, you want to make sure that you select very narrow. There are only two selections. And then over here, these are going to be uh, these are going to be grayed out in the beginning because the difference with the Kenwood mobiles as opposed to the ICOM portables, uh, the ICOM radios, is that there's really no designation for talk group. They are called, for Kenwood, group IDs. So what you need to do in order to throttle this channel to the correct talk group of 65,000, what you want to do, basically, is you want to go into the NXDN unit ID. So you come up here, you select Edit. You come down, scroll down to NXDN, and when that pops up, you want to make sure that you um, you you want to go over to now to NX Group ID. So you come up here and you want to go into the ID list and you select Group ID list, and then you make your signal your your single group, and you put in the ID number of sixty five thousand. It's going to say group ID. It's going to default to 001. And that's what uh, how you actually make your group ID or your talk group. You're going to be listing all the talk groups when they become opened uh, in the NXDN network. Right now, we're only using 65,000. Back over to general one in the settings. You could see the unit ID is your NXDN ID that you registered with when you went on to that um, website and most people are using the last five digits of their DMR ID. Mine is 3136602 so I took off the first two digits. Unit ID name for own I put my call sign and then if you want the group ID or the display type of the incoming transceiver you could see that on the radio right now it shows the um, the group IDs of the people that are speaking as it uh, as it keys up. You can also show call signs. Uh, you select calling transceiver ID. You could select group ID for it to show or calling transceiver ID and group ID. Anyway, uh, that's basically what you do. Then what you do is you have to go back to your zone... So we're just going to uh, close this out. Now remember, this is how to throttle that 61, 65,000 talk group. So we went in once again under NXDN and the edit, and we selected group ID list. We put the 65,000 in there. And now we need to throttle it to that single channel. So basically what you want to go back uh, into your zone information, click on zone edit, and then uh, under the zone edit, you want to go into audio control. So over here, you want to go into audio control NXDN, and you want to select RAN and optional signaling. When you select RAN and optional signaling, uh, the selection will be just RAN, and then what you want to do is you want to select under the audio control, RAN and optional signaling, and then... Under the channel edit screen, which is right next to zone edit, you want to come in. Let me bring this up here, and this is how it's going to finish that. You're going to basically come over to the um, NXID. So you're going to come onto the NXDN ID, and you're going to then uh, select the number one. You're going to come up to uh, push to talk NXID, and you're going to select NXDN ID, and then under cell call, you're going to select group call. So once again, the selections under here, so under the channel edit options, you're going to select NXDN. And you're going to select NXDN ID, 
right here, and we're going to select one. Next, on cell call push to talk, you're going to select, you're going to change it from off to group call, and uh, you're going to select optional signaling at, to NXID, and you're going to click close. At that time, you're going to come up here, you're going to select program, and you're going to hit right to radio, um, and you're going to click right. If this pops up and you get a X out or it says error, you need to come in into the actual settings for time adjustment, consecutive right, and you just want to select uh, for Fleet Sync, MDC 1200, and NXDN. You just want to select, uh, a zero, you know, one for the ID numbers. That might be an issue. And that's basically it. That's how you do it. Uh, it's pretty simple to do. If you have any questions, feel free to make a comment. And once again, we want to thank Andy, uh, who does a beautiful job constantly updating Pi Star. Uh, we want to thank Jonathan Taylor, uh, Andy CA6AJU for the firmware. And this is N2LEN saying Best73 hopes this helps out with the um, NXDN radio. Uh, with um, NXDN on the MMDVM STM. Uh, this is once again, it's the EA7 GIB um, Shield with the STM 32446F Nucleo 64 64 pin Raspberry Pi. Have a great day, and Twillian out.